I have a story about one little boy who was always complaining at bath time. This story is called Andrew's Bath. Andrew was forever having trouble with his bath. Either it was too hot, too hot, I'm boiling, or too cold, too cold, I'm freezing, too shallow, more water, my boat won't float, or too deep, too deep, I'll drown. His mother scrubbed him too hard, too rough, or his father used too much shampoo. Too much, I can't see. Giving Andrew a bath wasn't easy. I think Andrew is big enough to give himself a bath, said Andrew's mother one day. I think you're right, said Andrew's father. That night, Andrew went upstairs to give himself his very own bath. First, he filled the tub. The water was not too hot, not too cold, not too shallow, and not too deep. He collected all his favorite toys and books, took off all his clothes, and climbed into the tub. Downstairs, Andrew's mother thought she could hear water splashing on the floor. What's going on up there? She asked. There's a frog in the tub, answered Andrew, and it's splashing water all over the floor. Well, tell it to stop, said Andrew's mother. A little later, Andrew's father called to Andrew. Are you washing? I can't, said Andrew. There's a hippo in the tub, and it's sitting on the soap. Tell the hippo to get up, said Andrew's father, and scrub behind your ears with your washcloth. I can't, said Andrew. An alligator bit it, and he won't let go. Then take it away from him, said Andrew's father. I did, said Andrew, but now it's all ripped and full of tooth holes. Never mind, said Andrew's mother, looking at Andrew's father. Just wash your hair. I can't, said Andrew. The elephant drank all the shampoo. That's enough, Andrew's father shouted. Let the water out of the tub this instant. I'm trying, said Andrew. But there's a thirsty lion in here, and he won't let me. Andrew, called his mother, get out of the tub and dry off right now. I am, I am, cried Andrew. Andrew hurried downstairs to say good night. Can the animals sleep with me tonight, he asked. Andrew's mother and father just looked at each other. Only if they are quiet, they said. Oh, they will be, cried Andrew, and he hurried off to bed. That was a story about one little boy and his pretend animal friends. The book is called Andrew's Bath, and it was written and had wonderful pictures drawn by a man named David McPhail.